Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some things that I do to help ease my anxiety. Well, first off the bat, I'm not a doctor. And then consult your doctor with any information I'm about to give, okay? I am not quite sure how many years now I have been dealing with anxiety. It showed up maybe a couple of years into starting She's in Her Apron. I didn't understand what was going on with me. I've always been a high stress person, so I get stressed out easily. But it was a definite difference when I started experiencing anxiety versus stress. And it rocked my world and it came on hard and it came on fast. I have had some major anxiety and anxiety attacks over the years. And there's been ways that I noticed that I was doing just on my own to help me and help soothe me. And then working with our family therapist, ways that have also helped. So I'm gonna share those with you. All right, my biggest tool to help battle my anxiety and anxiety attacks is a weighted blanket. I have a friend that got a weighted blanket and she just raved about it and I thought, okay, it has changed everything for me. It is a game changer. I started off with a 15 pound blanket and then at Christmas time I bought myself a 20 pound blanket and I gave my 15 pound blanket to my son who I noticed was starting to experience anxiety. I noticed that if I put it around my shoulders while I was editing or, or starting to feel edgy, it would actually help me center in and focus. It is amazing what a weighted blanket could do. I would get the best night's sleep. If you can't get your hands on a weighted blanket, get a heavy bean bag and put that on your lap. My son started off with a bean bag. Um, we got it from our family therapist, but you can order the smaller ones online as well or you can make your own. When I get stressed out, I love going for caffeine. I love my soda. I am a huge Coca-Cola girl, but I noticed that like, if I have too much caffeine in one day, I know for a fact that the next day, I'm gonna be having some anxiety, some rapid heartbeat, racing thoughts, um, just this overwhelming feeling in, in my shoulders and in my chest. So I try to stay away from caffeine. Um, if you are experiencing anxiety, talk with your doctor. You might need medication for it. Or talk to your doctor about CBD oil. Uh, I got on CBD oil and it is wonderful. It truly helps me when I feel the anxiety come on. But again, talk with your doctor before you take anything. I've noticed that my perfectionism actually brings on my anxiety. I notice that when I'm starting to hit work here at home, if I can't do something perfect, then and I know that I need to get this certain thing done, it will bring on anxiety. So you might notice that what is it that's bringing on your anxiety? Is it perfectionism? Is it feeling that you know you can't get it right, or it won't get done in time, or it won't get done the way that you wanna do it? Is that bringing on anxiety? If that is the case, I recommend that you micro task, like micromanage your task. Start small. So when I notice that a lot of you have talked to me about your routines and how you, it's overwhelming and it brings on anxiety, I think we're looking at the big picture way too much. So micromanage. So a video that I did a while, maybe last week, I talked about my routines. When I get anxiety, I start with the most easiest task I could possibly do. It could be making your bed. It could be throw in a piece of garbage in the garbage. Like, it's so dumb. I actually enjoy folding towels. <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. I will fold the towel. When I get anxiety, I get rapid thinking and I can't turn it off, which makes my heart pound more and just makes the situation worse. Tell yourself these things. Is it fact or is it fiction? And most of the time, it is fiction. It's usually self-doubt things that run through your head. I have to get grounded when I'm ha in anxiety. So I like to distract myself when I'm feeling like this. So I love doing puzzles. I keep a poster board underneath my couch and it has a puzzle on it. I'll pull it out. What it does is help me concentrate, it brings my mind to something else and to help close what I call apps all around me so I am not getting fear and induced by all these open tabs in my head like oh my goodness work and the kids and like everything that will start an anxiety attack anything so I like to 
refocus my mind onto something else. It's so relaxing. Other thoughts will come in that will help me. And I know it's divinely inspired advice. And it really does help me. I love sitting and doing cross stitch. Do you like to cross stitch? Do you like to do something with your hands, like needlework? Do you like sewing? Something that has another motor skill, I notice, definitely helps me. Now, I do have ADHD. It is not uncommon for ADHD and anxiety diagnosis to go hand in hand. According to the Depression and Anxiety Association of America, 50% of all people with ADHD are also diagnosed with anxiety. It's hard when I'm in the middle of an anxiety attack and I see all these things that need to get done and I'm freaking out about all of them and I don't know if it's also my ADHD bringing it on because I'm like, oh, this thing and this thing and this thing. So it's a constant battle. So that's why I have to close out all those apps in my mind that are bringing on fear. So I will do some games on my phone. I have a few like number games um, that I like to do. They're totally mindless, just moving numbers and just like, it's completely mindless. But I notice if I sit down for a good 20 minutes and just do those as well, it helps get my anxiety down. Again, it's another motor skill. It's putting my mind somewhere else. Now this is not an everyday thing for me, but I do experience anxiety at least once a week. Before it was three times a week. With working with my therapist, she made me see that I have PTSD. This is something I don't talk about here. People that watch me think I self-diagnose myself. No, I've been tested, I have ADHD, I have an anxiety disorder, and I have PTSD. I get comments from a lot of you that saying that you have PTSD, you have anxiety, and my heart goes out to you. So a lot of the things that bring on my PTSD will definitely hype up my anxiety, and sometimes they're both the same thing for me. So um, I have worked a lot with a therapist who has given me tools to help. Um, one of them is breathing techniques. There's so many out there, but I, I have to sit and breathe. I have to take deep cleansing breaths. And as I am doing that, I am going to my safe place. So create a safe place. Mine, I've created a scene in my mind that is my safe place. It could be real. It could not be real. So when I'm doing my deep breath exercises, I, in my mind, I'm in my safety place. I forget the name of it, but she taught me a great tool to help ground me. So it's tapping. You can tap your legs, your knees, left, right, left, right, okay? And as I am doing this, I am thinking of being in my safety place. And as I am doing this, I'm saying to myself, you are safe, you are calm, things like that to myself. And I do that for a little while, and, I, I, and I'll breathe nice and easy, deep breaths. And as I am doing this, I am noticing that my shoulders will go down and I start to feel good. I do this a lot in the bathtub. Taking baths, I notice, um, have definitely helped me over the last year, year and a half. I enjoy a bath, <laughs> and I totally miss my nice big bath from the last house that we were in. Oh, it was beautiful. But I love taking soothing baths and fading away to calm music. I love listening to sounds of the ocean or um, just nice acoustic like music, like spa music and things definitely help me. So I will get myself into a place where I can breathe and bring and see my happy place. Pray, meditate, exercise, go for a walk. This helps. I like to actually stretch and do some stretching. I'm not a yoga person, but I, I will just sit and I will stretch. Um, I notice that it helps bring the tension down. Once a month, I go see my sweet friend Cherie and I get a deep, deep massage. <sighs> I look forward to these every month. It helps my muscles calm down um, and I'm able to actually relax. And so every month I get a deep tissue massage and I absolutely love it and I am so thankful for Cherie and her magic hands. She is seriously one of my angels. And lastly, talk to someone. Talk to your therapist, find a therapist. Talk to your doctor, your spouse, a good friend about what is going on. Having anxiety can make you feel alone and that is one of the worst things about it. I noticed that over the years I started to get social anxiety. I was too afraid to go out, to go to church, 
and you guys this was all happening while I was filming she's in her apron I'm a very outgoing person I love to be out but sometimes the it's morphed into like social anxiety I can't get outside and a lot of the times my girlfriends are pulling me out <laughs> it is real what you're feeling is real and a lot of times anxiety makes us feel like we're crazy or we're going crazy you're not so find those find a support group that can help you not everybody has anxiety and can understand it and they may not understand it but you can tell them just to support you and encourage you and um, just be with you just even just to sit there with you while you go through it just knowing that you have some sort of support group is wonderful know that I am thinking of you during this time if you're battling anxiety PTSD depression I understand and I pray that you can find the tools that will help soothe you and ground you all right friends I know this is a different video but on my last video that I did where I talked about a little about my anxiety the amount of requests for this video was huge so I hope this helped in some way if you have any tips please leave them down below for all of us I know we would all appreciate it thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon bye